I wonder if you can recall a feeling of uh, finding something of great value. Maybe it had been lost for a great period, a long period of time, and suddenly you came across it, and it was so important, and you were so glad that you found it. It was going to transform some aspect of your life. Maybe you know finding uh, a certificate that you needed to show for a job interview, or uh, finding a logbook for a vehicle that you thought you'd never be able to use or sell, and suddenly coming across that document, coming across that piece of paper, brought about such a wonderful change. In your life. If you have an example like that, please do share it in the comment section below. We're going to be talking about finding something that changes the way we should live our lives. My name is Reverend Kwame Rubadiri, and you are watching Sitam Church Online. In 2 Kings chapter 22, uh, an interesting verse uh, comes to mind. Those of you who are familiar with the Old Testament, and particularly the book of 1 Kings and 2 Kings, know that it is a record of all the kings of both the northern and the southern kingdoms of Judah, and how they either did what was pleasing in the eyes of the Lord, or they did what was evil in the eyes of the Lord. One of the reasons I wanted us to look at this uh, particular passage of Scripture is because here in the nation of Kenya, we're going to go into a time of real tremendous transition. In a couple of weeks now, we are going to be going through uh, an election uh, cycle. Uh, this happens once every five years in Kenya. And this particular time, we're going to have a change of leadership from the very top all the way to uh, some of the closest uh, political offices in the land, what we call wards, uh, which are uh, particularly parts of our constituent um, uh, assemblies or constituent uh, 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 counties. Uh, this is at the lowest level of uh, governorship or governance in the nation of Kenya. Well, something happened in the life of one of the youngest kings in uh, the kingdom of Judah, the southern kingdom. His name was Josiah. Uh, he had given instructions for one of his trusted aides to go and pay for work that was being done in the temple. And while they were doing this work, uh, they came across what they call the Book of the Law. For us, it would be like discovering a Bible after a long, long time of its disappearance. And this is what the Word of God says in 2 Kings chapter 22 and beginning at verse 8. Hilkiah the high priest said to Shaphan the secretary, I found the book of the law in the temple of the Lord. And he gave it to Shaphan to read it. Then Shaphan the secretary went to the king and reported to him, your officials have paid out the money that was to the temple of the Lord and entrusted it to the workers and supervisors in the temple. Verse 10. Then Shaphan, the secretary, informed the king, uh, Hilkiah the priest has given me a book. And Shaphan read uh, from it in the presence of the king. When the king heard the words of the book of the law, he tore his robes. Something happened in the discovery of this book. The book of the law, like I said before, is like discovering a Bible that maybe has been lost and its content has been forgotten and its information is no longer in use. And sadly, people have gone off on a tangent on the wrong path of their lives until suddenly some, somebody one day discovers this book and discovers the instructions that God had given in the book, not only for his servants, uh, the priests, uh, not just for the king, but for the entire nation, for all of Israel. And in reading it, discovering that actually we've been on the wrong path, we've been on the wrong uh, side of history, if you will, because we have not heeded to the instructions of the book. Now the book was being read to the king, and his response was immediate. He realized that if anything was to be done about the state of affairs in Israel or in Judah at that particular time, it had to come from the instructions in this book. It's my hope that we don't simply uh, assign ourselves or align ourselves with the law of the land, with the constitution of our nation, all of which are very important and should be respected. But at the end of the day, that our very future, the very formation of character in our lives is going to depend on our aligning ourselves with the Word of God, discovering what does God have to say about how we govern ourselves? 
What does God have to say about how we live in relationship to one another? What does God have to say about the decisions that we make in terms of who our leaders are going to be and how to hold them accountable to the truth in God's word? The king decided that and, and discovered that everything that had to do with his life, with his rulership, with his governance, and with the future of the nation of Israel, it had to be determined by what was going to happen with the reading and the discovery of the truth that was found in the book of the law. More than anything else that you and I will experience, more than any law that will be brought into, uh, in, in, into our nation, more than any educational system or curriculum that will be designed for the future of our children, more than anything else that you and I hope this election will produce for our country, the Bible, God's word and his instruction will be far more important than all of those things. I pray that you'll discover the riches of God's word as the children of Israel, as the nation of Judah, the kingdom of Judah discovered the riches of God's word and the need to apply and comply with that as we move forward. And so I pray that you will find not only the treasures of that word, but you will find the treasures for your life as you begin to conform with the word of God and not just the law of the land. God bless you. Thank you.